Ma'am, could you please give us a ride? Sorry, I can't help you. Please, ma'am. We just need a ride. <laughs> I'm home. You're still at it? I'll rest for the wicked. How was your fundraiser? Well, it was a big success. It would have been nice if you had come. Everyone was asking about you. I'm on a deadline. You know, Dan, there are some things that are more important than work. Please, Rachel, don't start. I'm just saying. It would have been nice to have you there. Nothing is more important than this. Why is that so hard for you to understand? You still writing that scary book of yours? What, the one that freaks you out? Yes. Well, at least you won't expect me to proofread it. What are these? I haven't seen you draw since you were in college. Story inspirations. This isn't exactly what your publisher is expecting from you. Well, that's the point. You know, this is the one that's really going to hit. It's going to change everything. This one. Look at these. This is like the mind of a lunatic. It's research. It's obsessive. Why don't you say what you really want to say? Fine. You need to sell another book, Dan. Look, I'm sorry. Why don't you go back to writing what you know? You know what? I'm gonna take a shower. Going to bed? Yeah. Use your phone, ma'am. Hello? We need to use your phone. Hun, what are you doing out so late? Where are your parents? They're worried about us. We need to call them. Don't you have a cell phone? Please, ma'am. My sister is scared. Where do you live? Give me your home phone number and I'll call your parents for you. You know, I'll tell you what, I'll call the police and tell them that you need their help and it'll only be a few minutes before they get here, okay? There's no need to do that. Just kids. If 
we wanted to hurt you, we would have broken in already. Let us in. Please, ma'am. Hi. Okay, I got it. I got you the interview. Oh, you're kidding. That's great. He can only meet with you tomorrow. Okay. He's not particularly happy about plugging this book. So I've read. He all but disappeared after his wife died. Why are you pushing so hard for this? I just think it's a fascinating story. Mr. Metzger, I'm Sarah Foster. Your home is really lovely. I've always been a fan of your work. I think I've read every book twice. I'd offer you a drink, but I can see you're in no condition. Oh. I guess congrats are in order. Thank you. It's my first. A boy. <laughs> I'm not doing many press interviews for this book. But you're very, very persistent. The Black Eyed Kids is different from your other books. And you want to know if I'm planning a follow-up? No. Not exactly. I'm more interested in the process of writing the book. How you researched it. The encounters. Well, it's all urban legend. You're known for going to great lengths to immerse yourself in the subject you're writing about. Well, I, I wouldn't say I go overboard. When you wrote your first collection of short stories, you trained for months as a boxer to get an inside perspective. I found a picture of you with a huge shiner. <laughs> well, back then, everyone wanted to be Rocky. It's just, you've never written about the paranormal before. And there are things in this book that don't seem... What? Made up. Like fiction. Was Rachel aware of the research you were doing with this book? Why are you asking me about my wife? Because I've seen them, Mr. Metzger. They're just stories. No. I know they're real. So do you. Yeah, you should leave. No. Wait. One night in my car, two kids knocked on the window asking for a ride. They looked at me with the most terrifying eyes I've ever seen. They were pure... black. Almost... Hypnotic. Yes. And if you hold their gaze long enough, Pull you in. What do they want? They want a soul. And they'll keep coming back until they get it. Not yours. Someone close to you. Is that what happened with your wife? No. Mr. Metzger. Look, we're not going to talk about the book. Why am I seeing them? You did something to invoke them. Just like I did. While I was researching the book, I... I tapped into something I never should have messed with. But they can't come in unless you invite them, right? Right? 
They should have come after me, not her. I brought this on. She opened the door, didn't she? Didn't she? Rachel didn't die of a brain aneurysm like they ruled. That's just how they explained it away. But I saw her face, Sarah. I saw the horror on her face after they had drained the soul from her body. I know what happens. When you let them in.